Okay guys, now please listen carefully. If you follow my instructions, now you can get 100% in maps. And maps are very common. One of my students in Saudi Arabia, she said, Sir, agar map na aata, to mera required band aa jana tha. Map aaya, you know, you have perception. Perception means like you are doing section 1. Ki you came to section 2, map mar gaye. Hun ki hoega, right? So, if you follow these instructions, I'll tell you how to deal with maps and all that stuff, right? Uh, part 2, questions 11 to 16. Now, the first thing is whenever they give you the map, don't read the questions. Okay? Don't read the questions. Then you'll say what to read? Read the map. Questions are just the tags. Why do you want to read cafe, toilets and formal gardens and all that stuff. You want to just read the map. They will give you almost 30 seconds. So, you need to spend those 30 seconds on the map. Now, listen. Uh, this map is different and usually they give you this type of map. If there is a map, if they have given the directions east, west, north, south, first just in pencil, you can write. For example, now you can see west. On the left side, you should write capital W capital W. See that this one. Here capital W. On top you can write capital N. On right you can write capital E. At bottom you can write capital S. So that in audio if he says south and you go back to this small arrow and then you say where is south and all that. If they give you directions then you can do like this. The first thing. After that uh, if there are roads on the map you need to read the names of the roads. First read the names of the road. Then read important places on that road. For example, there is a road. On the road, there is a supermarket, there is a school and all that. And you must read the name of the road very carefully. For example, now please come to that. Can you see Southgate? Yes. Right? So, most of the time when he starts, he will take you either from Southgate or from Northgate. And one more thing. When map is in front of you, Right is what the right is now on the map. It's not that you get confused. One of the students said, Uska right ye hoga, mera right ye hoga. It's not that you look at the map, agar map mere peechhe ho, to kya hoga? Agar isko teda kare, to kya hoga? Not like that. Map is in front of me. If he says right, this is right. If he says, go from the south gate and turn left, this is left. Pata hai na, apne left right ka to, apna to pata hai na? Or na, yaa marker se nishan laga le. Ae khabba, te ae sajja. Yeah. So, South Gate and North Gate. And then we have Old Museum. And we have Glass Houses. And we have Adventure Playground. Now, these are just the places. Or whatever they tell you, either it is going to be near Old Museum or Lake or Glass House. If it Glass House, pe aata hai, either F or H. If it takes you to Adventure Playground, either it can be B or C. And if he takes you to any other place, then you can just see that. Cafe. Now, first we are going to see cafe. Uh, there is another thing, a language for directions. What is language for directions? Turn left, turn right. Number one, which is important for this. I will share a handout. Uh, in our class WhatsApp group, I'll share a handout where there are the directions. The first thing. Second, prepositions. They play very important role. Next to the bank. In front of the bank, behind the bank, adjacent, in the corner. So, there are prepositions and they also play a very important role in that. Now, first is cafe. You should hold a pencil. If, if he says, we are at the south gate, put the pencil over there. Right? So, in order to go to the cafe from south gate, go straight. If he says, go straight, you have to go straight and all that. Right? You just need to see where to go and all that. Uh, there was another mic. Uh, please switch it off. That mic, mic is making some noise. So, let's just see. Question number 11. We start with that. As chair of the town council subcommittee on park facilities, I'd like to bring you up to date on some of the changes that have been made recently okay. to the Croft Valley Park. So, if you could just take a look at the map I handed out, Let's begin with a general overview. So, the basic arrangement of the park hasn't changed. It still has two gates, north and south, 
and a lake in the middle. The cafe continues to serve an assortment of drinks and snacks and is still in the same place, looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. Looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. Huh? D for doctor or E for elephant? Exactly. Next to, uh, uh, looking out at the lake and next to the old museum. Now, next to the old museum means close to that and looking out at the lake means from there you can see the lake. So, D is the right answer and you will write capital D. Okay? Uh, in IELTS, listening and reading, use capital letters, they are better. All right, let's go on toilets. Now, let's see where the toilets are. And again, listen to them. In maps, there is one thing. Now, they told you clearly cafe. Otherwise, they say the cafe used to be somewhere. First, they take you there. And then they say we moved it now to this location. right? Or they say we wanted to uh, move the cafe to a new location towards the adventure playground. But right now, it is next to old museum. So, we wanted to move it there. Can leke bhi jayenge? So, you just need to see that as well. That is what we call distraction in map. All right, question number 12. We're hoping to change the location of the toilets and bring them nearer to the center of the park. As they're a bit out of the way at present, near the adventure playground, in the corner of your map. At present, near the adventure playground, in the corner near the adventure playground in the corner. So, adventure playground is there and corner is there. But it said we wanted to move it to the center, but now at present, at present means now. So, that was a trap. Clear? Samaj aari sabko? Yeah? Class mein jo hai na, wo, you say, I use the Punjabi word, dun vatta banke ni baitna. You know, dun vatta is what? Jo marzi ho ra hai. Allah miya ki gai baiti hui hai ki, so, you have to be active and alert. Question number 13, formal gardens. Now, let's see what's the location for formal gardens. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum. But we've now used the space near the south gate between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake towards the old museum. See that? The south gate and the path that goes towards the museum, it's there on the left. So it is? G. I play it again. Don't, don't worry. Don't get confused. I play it again. Question is 13. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum. They used to be behind the old museum, used to be, right? But now you can see there is no option behind old museum. Used to be means past tense. That's a distraction or trap, exactly. But we've now used the space near the south gate between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake towards the old museum. So, the path that goes the lake towards the museum, so it's going to be actually option G. Clear? Let's go on. Outdoor gym. Let's see where this outdoor gym is. We have a new outdoor gym for adults and children, which is already proving very popular. It's by the glass houses, just to the right of the path from the south gate. You have to look for it as it's a bit hidden in the trees. It's a bit hidden in the trees. See, you were thinking F or H, F or H. But when she said it's a bit hidden in the trees, that means H. I play it again. Just make sure you found the right answer. We have a new outdoor gym for adults and children, which is already proving very popular. It's by the glass houses just to the right of the path from the south gate. You have to look for it as it's a bit hidden in the trees. Okay, let's go on. Question number 15, skateboard ramp. Now let's see where the skateboard ramp is. 
One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. Leads off between the lake and the museum. So it is? Yeah. Yeah, I play it again. Yes, it is actually A. One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. Little path that leads off between the lake and the museum. So there is the little path and at the end we have A. Okay, question number 16, wild flowers. Now let's see where the wild flowers are. We've also introduced a new area for wild flowers to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path that goes round the east side of the lake, just south of the adventure playground. East side of the lake and south of adventure playground and bend. Bend means more. So what is it? E. e. Yeah, that's the bend. I play it again. We've also introduced a new area for wild flowers to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path that goes round the east side of the lake, just south of the adventure playground. East side of the lake and south of adventure playground. Got it? This is east side and south of adventure playground. So it's E. All right. Is that clear? Yes. Good.